busy Sunday mornings hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, laying right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. That corner coffee shop we like to go. Late night walks with you to take me home. With you, I never feel alone. Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is vlogmas number 15, I think. Yeah, if, I think it's vlogmas number 15. So guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my evening or if you like my nighttime skincare routine. So let's get into it. So kindly remember to like this video, share me out if you can. And I would really, really appreciate. So let's do this. Need your company, don't need too much. Just your simple love and it's I don't do every step that I'm going to show you here every night guys. Today I'm doing this because I have makeup on. On days that I don't have makeup, I will skip these first two steps, which is to break down the makeup and then to also like cleanse. So I'll just like go in, wash my face and I'm done. But because today I have makeup on, I'm going to break down my makeup. And to break down my makeup, I normally use coconut oil or sometimes I use rose water, but for tonight, I'm going to be using coconut oil. Once I'm done with that, I'll just take my micellar water and then wipe the face because I also use micellar water apart from cleansing to also remove my makeup. So that's what I'm going to be using. We don't need any effort when we are together. We always have fun throughout the day. I'll do anything to get your attention. When you say you love me, I sing to ascend to the heavens above where we fall in love. I don't know what I would do without you because all I need, all I need. On days that I don't have cotton wool, I'll just go in with baby wipes. I normally use the Bella baby wipes because they are alcohol free and I just like, you know, love the way they feel on my skin. So first of all, guys, whenever I have makeup on, the first area that I always remove my, remove my makeup is the eye area because one, the eye area is so sensitive. So that's where I start with removing the eye makeup and then I do the lips and then the rest of the face. I'm hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face So I tell you so much Just your simple love and it's everything Can't imagine living life alone. If we were to go our separate ways Cause with you I feel like Who knows how far we go down Rose water has so many uses guys for me I use it sometimes I use it as a setting spray but on other times I use it as a makeup removal so because I have makeup on this is the, this step I only do it whenever I have makeup on if I did not have makeup on I would not be using rose water today so because I have makeup on and I want to make sure that my face is thoroughly cleaned and I don't have any other makeup left on my face I'll go in with this rose water spray it on my face and then just use wipes to wipe everything off before I go in to start washing my face Now that I'm sure my face is free of any makeup, I'm going in to wash my face just to make sure that my face is clean and we don't have any makeup residues left on my face. I normally wash my face with Touch Me Face Wash. I've been using this for years and it works perfectly for me. And guys, something I failed to mention when we started this video is, you know, just a disclaimer. The products I'm using here are the products that work for me. It will not like necessarily work the same on your skin because remember we have different types of skin so i just wanted to you know mention that just in case you know you go out there and buy everything that i'm saying here and then they end up not working on your face just make sure that you know you find products that 
Work for your skin type, guys. I'm on a mission to make my skin glow, you guys. I want like a perfect radiant skin. I want a skin that, you know, is spotless and, you know, just glows naturally. So after I've been researching for quite some time and I found that, you know, double cleansing is one thing that, you know, works. So when it comes to cleansing, I start with this black soap. I'm using the Detrex black soap. It works perfectly for my skin. Once I'm done with this soap, I'll wash my face and then go in to again cleanse with my pomegranate cleanser that I've been using for quite some time and it works perfectly for me. So guys, let me also know what other like, you know, products you normally use when it comes to cleansing and also to tone your face, especially a toner. I'm looking for a toner that, you know, will work perfectly for my skin because as I said earlier, I want my skin like to naturally glow and, you know, have that natural glow and also Nah, doesn't necessarily have necessarily have any breakouts or spots. Something I have come to learn like over a long period of time, when it comes to skincare guys, always find a product that will work for you. Don't just go out there to buy products because you saw someone using the same. Especially these high-end products, they don't like necessarily work for every skin type guys. Yes, I'm saying this because I tried a particular product that is high-end that has been advertised by our like local influencers here in Kenya and it did not work for me guys. So when you go out there to purchase like skincare products, always make sure that you know you find something that will work for your skin type. It doesn't have to be you know necessarily a product that you know it's like at a very high price. You can get like a product that is very like affordable and still works the same. God did his thing with ya Don't be a stranger, be my date We thought you this ain't a holiday So let me be your family this Christmas Let me be your family Let this be the season that you've been waiting for When it comes to scrubbing, guys, I don't do this step every night. I only do this step once a week, guys. Sometimes twice a week, but normally I just do it once a week. But tonight I decided to, you know, scrub my face because there's a product that, like I mentioned earlier, guys, there's a product that I did use on my face and it left my face so itchy. I even had, like, breakouts. So that's why I'm going in, like, to just scrub my face and, you know, just make sure that I don't have any dead cells on my skin because that product really messed my face up. Lazy Sunday mornings hiding under covers I don't mind staying in with you Play your favorite movie I was using the coffee scrub in case you are wondering. That's a Shabbat coffee scrub that is both for face and also for body. That's what I was using. So I'm done washing my face. As you can see, my face is clear and it's clean. It's now time for me to go in and start, you know, moisturizing my face, guys. And something I have learned also over time, when you wipe your face, just like dab your face, guys. Do not like rub your face Roughly just dab it very slowly, you know, you, you know, you want like to, you know, pamper your skin and not like just rub 
the towel over your skin because it will irritate it and first things first guys one thing that i've been using for quite some time and you all know this product is dr rachel serum that you can use both either at night or during the day so i use this product at night and i also use it in the morning when i'm doing like my skincare in the morning so guys i've been doing like this step every like everything i've shown you i've been doing this like daily except of course scrubbing that i don't do on a daily basis so i've been doing this and i've seen i have seen like change on my face because as i mentioned earlier guys my face had breakouts because i used a certain product if you do follow me on this channel you remember i did mention that i had ordered some products that i wanted to try on my face i did order them yes they came i tried them on my face but unfortunately they did not work for me i had like they gave me breakouts so i stopped using them and went back to you know what has been working for me over a period of years so and guys as you will notice i'm also like going in and you know just applying that serum like really slowly and pampering my skin because i have come to learn that this is the way you are supposed to apply all your products don't like just rub them in roughly be tender on your skin Above, where we fall in love I don't know what I would do without you Because all I need All I need Is you Make me fly To the clouds One, two, three All that I need Is your body next to me On rainy days once i've made sure that the serum has settled on my face nicely i'm going in with again dr rachel face cream there is a face cream for night and there's also a face cream for like during the day one for night one for the day and this one that i'm using that you can use either during the day or again at night and usually guys i'm i like like you know saving on my cash so i get a product that will work for me during the day and also at night so i'm also going to apply this cream because you know guys before i go to bed i want my face to be you know well moisturized and this is what actually they recommend like this the bare minimum you can be doing when it comes to your skincare like you can like you know just cleanse your face at night you know make sure that if you had makeup you don't sleep with makeup make sure that you wash your face and then apply a moisturizer and you are done so after i'm done with this i'll be going in with the moisturizer Let me give you guys a background story of how when I started using this Dr. Rachel serum and the cream. Once I bought this product like a long time ago, and then like you know, naturally I did share on my Instagram page, and then a friend reached out and you know warned me. She was like, "Don't dare use those products because they will bleach your skin and all that." But then I was like, you know, we have two different uh, skin types because one, her skin type and my skin type are totally different. For her, she did use Dr. Rachel and she felt like, you know, Dr. Rachel products like bleached her face. But for me, I've been using them for quite some time. And guys, I can't tell you this for free. My skin is still the same complexion it was. It has not bleached my skin. It has actually like helped my skin, you know, like clear the spots that I had on my skin and just, you know, give my skin that nice glow. Different now, but that's how it's gotta be, so let it rain on me. Recently, I started using this Luron night cream. You remember, guys, in my shopping haul, I did share with you a day cream. I went back and got a night cream. And, guys, I love, love the night cream. The day cream is making my face itch. But the night cream, I love, love it. So, I went back and got this. I've been using it for maybe, like, a week. So, I cannot give you, like, guys, a review on this. But let me just use it for, like, a month. Then, I'll come back here 
with a review of how it all went but for like now i'm loving the product guys and as you can see like it settles on your skin so nicely it even it doesn't leave a white cast behind that's a win-win for me so this is the last step i normally do and then i just moisturize my lips because guys you need to moisturize your lips before you go to bed something i forgot to mention guys you might be wondering have i already showered or not when i'm filming this video i've already showered the thing is i did this because of this video but usually after like i get i take off my makeup i'll go to the shower and then shower and then come do the rest of the steps once i'm already showered so in case you're wondering that's what i normally do As you can see guys my face is glowing it's not like really really glowing but it's well moisturized and well taken care of this is what i normally do basically on a daily basis except that step of scrubbing so i do hope that you did enjoy today's video if you did kindly share me out like the video leave a comment and i would really really appreciate also leave a comment down below telling us what you normally do when it comes to your nighttime skincare routine we will want you know to hear from you as well until my next one love and light bye bye